so a cone has a radius r and height h we need to find the volume of the cone using cylindrical shell method so the cone is formed by its revolution around its axis which is uh, this one basically so it should go yeah so that's this this is the height is h and this dimension is r and we need to find the volume using cylindrical shell method so let's say this is x axis and this is y axis and we take a section small section like this one we need to use cylindrical shell method so this should be the section the thickness is dx and this one is revolved around the axis like that and all of these sections so we need to integrate from 0 to r to find the total volume now if we look at one of the sections the high uh, the thickness is dx the dist uh, the radius is x so r is x and height in this case y is if we look at this one at any this point the if we think about the straight line basically and any point is y here and the equation of the straight line any equation of any straight line is m, y is equal to mx plus c and m is the gradient and for this one the gradient will be of course h over r and this one has a negative gradient so minus h over r is the gradient times x I'm just writing the equation which rep which represents y at any point of the straight line basically so minus h over rx plus it cuts the y axis at h so plus h so that's y so our equation uh, our expression for the volume of one of the section is 2 pi r h the cylinder times dx so 2 pi r is x and h is minus h over r x plus h times dx so this is what we need to integrate from 0 to r so 2 pi is there and this is minus h over r x square plus h x dx we can take the h out as well so this is 0 r and I will rewrite it so that will be minus x square r and then plus x dx so twice by h uh, sorry h and after the integration it becomes x cube over 3r plus x square over 2 and this is r 0 so 2 pi h and this one will become minus r cube r times uh, sorry 3 so 3 r basically and then here this will be plus r square over 2 so that's what it will become because I have written the r and the lower limit is 0 so the upper limit is r lower limit is 0 2 pi h and this is becoming minus r square 3 plus r square over 2 so 2 pi h this one will be 6 here so minus 2 pa 2 r square plus 3 r square so 2 pi h times this will be this is r so r square over 6 that's what it becomes so this is becoming one third pi r square h this is the volume of the cone that's generated and we have used cylindrical shell method to find the volume.